Down in the Ozarks, it's not wakeboarding weather anymore. But when it still was, three mid-Missourians hit the water to train for the Wakeboarding World Championship. KMUH's John McKinnon went to the Lake of the Ozarks to learn more about this growing sport and the difficulties one athlete pushes through. Rope. It's the one thing that connects a boy and his board to the boat. Connor, Brody, and Kirby. The two boys and their coach all competed in the Wakeboarding World Championship. Connor is just nine years old. Yeah, I got first place. For him, wakeboarding came easy. But I got up first try. Even so, his mom says there have been obstacles. They've gone through every possible test that they could go through, and it all comes back inconclusive. Connor experiences seizures and movement disorders, and each step can be difficult. Some days he can't even walk. He just... Well, like today, he had to be carried outside of the house um, because his legs literally would not bend. But with 13 different specialists Connor sees, they're doing everything they can. His DNA is in research, actually. The specialists continue to prescribe him new medication. He's at 20 pills a day. We just added another two pills for morning and night, just today, actually. But for Connor, it's no big deal. I have to go to the doctor's appointment because cause I have seizures and stuff, all that stuff. But I don't quit wakeboarding because wakeboarding is my favorite sport. Connor looks up to Brody, both behind the boat and back on land. He's just really good at pushing him without, without realizing that he's doing it. He's just, he's a good role model. Well, he did a back roll, and I didn't think you could do that on the wakeboard until until he did it. As winter draws near, the boys will follow their coach to Florida for competitions. It's the ties of family and friendship that keep these wakeboarders afloat. Reporting in Lake Ozark, I'm Sean McKinnon, KMU 8 News. The boys will continue to train under their coach, Kirby. Both boys have their sights set on becoming professional wakeboarders.